everyone, my name is Miss Natalie and welcome to our first enrichment video of the year. Can I get some silent cheers? Yay! Very good. Okay, so today we are going to start is um, Monday, August 31st, 2020. So this is when this video is up and every Monday we are going to have a new video. Okay, so can somebody tell me who this is on the left? Fantastic! It is, it is Dudley, Dudley the dragon. I hope you guys remember that because Dudley is going to help me with our video today, okay? So let's move on. All right, so every day, every Monday, we are going to have an agenda, which basically tells us everything that we're going to do on that Monday, okay? So for the first one, we're going to do our materials list. So that means all the supplies that you're going to need for this video. Okay, then we're going to do an introduction to Miss Natalie, which is me. We're going to get to know a little bit more about me. Okay, now we're going to do a fun read aloud. And we're going to read a book. Then we're going to have a nice little stretch break in between our read aloud and our reflection activity. Our reflection activity is basically an activity that we are going to do based on what book we have read that day, okay? And then lastly, we're gonna do our closing. Okay, so for today, we are going to need our blank piece of paper and crayons or markers. So I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to go get a blank piece of paper and some crayons and markers, okay? All right, go ahead. Alrighty, so can I get a thumbs up if you got your piece of paper and your crayons or markers? Awesome, very good, very good. Okay, hold on to those. Don't draw anything on them yet. We are going to read our book first and then we're gonna use them for our reflection activity, okay? Can I get a thumbs up if you understand? Awesome. Okay, so an introduction to me. So my name is Miss Natalie, and this is me on the right. That's me holding a poster saying, you are amazing. And my favorite color is orange because it fills you with joy and it has so much energy, just like me. 
My favorite sport is soccer. I do love to play soccer. It's really fun. And I get to run around like crazy because um, playing soccer is super fun. And I mean, I love all sports, but soccer is one of my favorites. My favorite food are all types of tamales. I love tamales, tamales rojos, that means red tamales, tamales verdes, that means green tamales, tamales salvadoreños, those are my favorite. They're so yummy and they fill my tummy and make me really, really happy. And my job here at RKES is to help all of you learn and also have fun. So always remember that I am here for you. And if you ever need help, just let me know and I'll be there for you, okay? So um, let's move on to our next slide, which is our read aloud. So our read aloud today is The Name Jar by Yang Suk Choi, okay? So we are going to read a book about a girl that comes to America and she is a little embarrassed of her name, but she learns that her name is powerful to her, that it, it is a part of her. And I want you guys to learn that your name is unique to you. That means that, it, that your name is special to you. So we're going to read about this little girl's journey to finding how she loves, how she ends up loving her name. Okay? The name jar. Oh, sorry. The name jar by Yang Suk Choi. Through the school bus window, Yoon Hai looked out at the strange buildings and houses on the way to her new school. It was her first day and she was both nervous and excited. She fingered the little block of wood in her pocket and remembered leaving her grandmother at the airport in Korea. Her grandmother had wiped away Yoon Hai's tears and handed her an ink pad and a small red satin pouch. Your name is inside, she had said. My name? Yoon Hai had wondered. Again, she took out the red pouch to look at the wooden block with her name carved in it. As she ran her fingers along the grooves and ridges of the Korean characters, she pictured her grandmother's smile. Is that thing for show and tell, a boy asked Yoon Hai, surprising her. Yoon Hai looked up as more kids leaned over. No, it's mine, Yoon Hai answered quickly putting the pouch back in her pocket. Are you new here? What's your name? A girl asked. Yoon Hai, said Yoon Hai. Ooh, nay? The girl asked, scrunching up her face. Ooh, 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 nee? Some kids chanted. No, no, Yoon Hai corrected. It's spelled U-N-H-E-I. It's pronounced Yoon Hai. Oh, it's Yoon Hei, the boy said, like you, Hey. What about Hey You? Just then, the bus pulled up to the school and the doors opened. Yoon Hai hurried to get off. You Hey, bye bye, the kids yelled as she left. Yoon Hai felt herself blush. Yoon Hai stood in the doorway of her new and noisy classroom. She was relieved that the kids on the bus had gone to other rooms, but her face was still red. Aren't you going in? Asked a curly haired boy with lots of dots on his face. You're the new girl, right? He asked cheerfully. Yoon Hai nodded, and before she could walk away, the boy took her hand and pulled her through the door. Here's the new girl, he announced so loudly that the teacher, Miss Coco, Mr. Kokotos, almost dropped his glasses. Mr. Kokotos thanked him and greeted Yoon Hai. Please welcome our newest student, he said to the class. She and her family just arrived from Korea last week. Yoon Hai smiled broadly and tried not to show her nervousness. 
What's your name? Someone shouted. Yunhai pictured the kids on the bus. Um, I haven't picked one yet, she told the class, but I'll let you know by next week. As Mr. Kokotos showed her to her desk, she felt many round, curious eyes on her. Why doesn't she have a name? She heard someone whisper. Maybe she robbed a bank in Korea and needs new a new identity, the boy replied. On the bus home, nobody teased her, but Yoon-hai kept thinking about her name. How was school, Yoon-hai? Her mother asked when she walked in. Did you understand the teacher? Yoon-hai simply nodded. She unpacked her school bag and set the red pouch by a photograph of her grandma. I'm glad you're learning English well, her mother said. You must study hard, behave nicely, and get good grades to show that you are a good Korean. I will, replied Yoon Hai, but, but I think I would like to change, I would like my own American name, she said quickly. Her mother looked at her with surprise. Why? Yoon Hai is a beautiful name. Your grandma and I went to a name master for it. But it's so hard to pronounce, Yoon Hai complained. I don't want to be different from all the American kids. You are different, Yoon Hai, her mother said. That's a good thing. Yoon Hai just wrinkled her nose. Later that day, Yoon Hai and her mother went grocery shopping in their new neighborhood. They passed Fadil's Falafel, Tony's Pizza, and Dot's Deli. A big graffiti painted garbage truck roared like a lion as it took off down the street. Nothing sounded or looked familiar until they got to Kim's market. The sign was in both English and Korean. Her mother picked up cabbage to make kimchi, Korean style spicy pickled cabbage and other vegetables and meat. She also found some seaweed, Yoon Hai's favorite for soup. It made Yoon Hai smile. Just because, because we've moved to America, her mother said, doesn't mean we stop eating Korean food. At the checkout counter, a friendly man smiled at Yoon Hai. Helping your mother with the shopping, he asked. Yoon Hai nodded. I'm Mr. Kim, he said. And what is your name? Yoon Hai, she answered. Ah, what a beautiful name, he said. Doesn't it mean grace? Yoon Hai nodded again. My mother and grandmother went to the name, went to a name master for it, she told him. A graceful name for a graceful girl, Mr. Kim said as he put their groceries in bags. Welcome to the neighborhood, Yoon Hai. That evening, Yoon Hai stood in front of the bathroom mirror. Hi, my name is Amanda, she said cheerfully. And she wrinkled her nose. Hi. My name is Laura. Hmm, maybe not. Her smile turned down. Nothing sounded right. Nothing felt right. I don't think American kids will like me, she worried as she began to brush her teeth. Hi, I'm a sure she said to the, to the mirror with her mouth full of toothpaste. The next morning, when Yoon Hai arrived at school, she found a glass jar on her desk with some pieces of paper in it. Yoon Hai took one out and read it out loud. Daisy. That's my baby sister's nickname, but she said you can use it if you want, said Cindy, who sat next to her. Yoon Hai took out the rest of the paper. Tamala, she read. I got it from a storybook, said Nate. She was smart and brave. Yoon Hai nodded and unfolded another piece. Wednesday? Yeah, you came here on a Wednesday, said Ralph. Thank you for your help. A smile spread over Yoon Hai's face. Ralph quickly said, we'll put more names in. You can pick whatever you like or pick them all and you'll have the longest name in history. At three o'clock, the bell rang for the end of the school day. Yoon Hai looked out the window and saw it was sprinkling. It's the same rain, she thought, but in a different place. She watched other kids leaving in groups. Hey, a familiar voice called out to her. Yoon Hai turned around.
to see the curly-haired boy again. I'm Joey, he said, and you? Don't you have any name? Yunhai thought for a moment. Well, I can show you, she said, and took out the small red pouch. She pressed the wooden block on the ink pad and then stamped it on a piece of paper. This is my name stamp, she said. My grandma gave it to me. In Korea, I can use it as a signature when I open a bank account or write a letter. And whenever I miss my grandma, I use it to fill a piece of paper. Want to try it? She offered the stamp to Joey and he carefully inked the stamp and pressed it hard on the paper. The red characters gleamed against the whiteness. Wow, that's beautiful, Joey said. Can I keep the paper? Sure, Yunhai said. And then the two of them shared their umbrella as they walked to the school bus. Every day, the jar got fuller with more names, and Yunhai read them all. She found a few names she liked. Miranda, Stella, Avery. They sounded interesting. I hope you choose the name I put in, Marco told her at snack time. I've put in three more, said Ralph. Madison, Park, and Lex. They're my favorite street names. Maybe you should close your eyes and draw a name, Rosie suggested. Ralph frowned. That's silly. What if she doesn't like the name she draws? Well, we didn't get to choose our names when we were born, did we? Rosie argued. Everyone thought about this. When Yoon Hai got home from school that day, her br little brother ran to give her a letter. It was from her grandma. She opened it quickly. It said, To my Yoon Hai, I hope you are enjoying your new school and new friends. Be sure to help your mother and your little brother. Here the moon is up, but there the sun is up. No matter how far apart we are, and no matter how different America is from Korea, you'll always be my Yunhai, your grandma forever. Yunhai took out her wooden stamp and filled a paper with it. She thought for a long time in front of the bathroom mirror. On Saturday, Yunhai walked to Mr. Kim's store. Mr. Kim was helping a customer, but he looked up and greeted her. Hi, Yoon Hai. Hello, Mr. Kim, Yoon Hai replied. She felt as if she was back in her old neighborhood in Korea. Hey, said the customer, turning around. It was Joey. Your name is Yoon Hee, he asked her with his eyes open wide. Yoon Hai looked quickly at Mr. Kim, then turned to Joey. She nodded slowly. Yes, it's pronounced Yoon Hai. And it means grace, Mr. Kim added. Yoon Hai, Joey said slowly, and this time perfectly. It made Yoon Hai smile. I'll have it ready for you tomorrow, said Mr. Kim to Joey. Thank you, Mr. Kim. See you Monday, Yoon Hai, Joey said to her. He left before she could ask him why he was at the store. On Monday, Yoon Hai came to class early to look at the names one last time, but the jar wasn't on her desk. Instead, there was a single piece of paper, paper with a name on it. Yoon Hai slipped it in her pocket. Where's your name jar? Ralph asked as soon as he saw it was gone. I don't know, Yoon Hai said. It wasn't on Mr. Kokotos's desk or on any other desk and it wasn't on the counters or any of the shelves. As other kids arrived, they helped look. Soon, Mr. Kokotos had, uh, came in and Ralph shouted at him, the name jar is gone, the jar with all the names in it. Gone, Mr. Kokotos replied with a look of concern. He asked Yunhai, did you get a chance to read all the names? Yunhai nodded. She took a breath. I'm ready to introduce myself, she said. 
Yunai wrote her name in both English and Korean on the chalkboard. I like the beautiful names and funny names you thought of for me, she told the class, but I realized that I like my name best, so I chose it again. Korean names mean something. Yunhai means grace. Grace, grace inhai, shouted Ralph. Everyone tried to say it. Yunhai, an yi, an hei. Yunhai said her name again, slowly and clearly. Soon the kids began to say it better, even Mr. Kokotos. They applauded Yunhai's choice. I was named after a flower, Rosie whispered to Yunhai. Lots of American names have meanings too, Mr. Kokotos reminded everyone. When the class was dismissed, Yunhai heard her new friends say goodbye. Bye, Yunhai. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, Yunhai. Yunhai said goodbye and then looked around for Joey, but he was already gone. Yunhai, Yunhai, come downstairs, mother called up to Yunhai. Your friend is here. Yunhai rushed down to see who she meant. There stood Joey, and in his arms was the name jar. Where did you find it? asked Yunhai breathlessly. Joey looked embarrassed. Um, well, I took it, but only because I wanted you to keep your own name, and you did. He reached in and pulled out the names. Do you want to keep them, he asked. Thank you. I'll keep them as a souvenir, Yunhai said happily. Then she pulled out the piece of paper from her pocket. Do you want this back? Joey grinned. You can keep it. I'll return the name jar to the class. Maybe you can put some Korean nicknames in it for us. Names with good meanings. I could do that, agreed Yunhai. I've already got a Korean nickname, Joey said. Mr. Kim helped me choose it. Carefully, he pulled a small silver felt pouch from his pocket. Then he took out a dark wooden stamp with beautiful Korean characters carved sharply into it. He pressed it on the ink pad and then on the piece of paper next to her name. Chinku, read Yunhai. That means friend. And Chinku smiled back. The end. Wonderful. So, can somebody tell me what the little girl's name was? Correct, Yun Hai. Say, can everybody say Yun Hai? Fabulous, fabulous. All right, and now we're going to move on to our little stretch break. So I know that after reading that book, it makes you kind of stiff. So let's do some neck rolls, all right? So we're gonna do them for two minutes. Mm -hmm. Stretch to the right. Stretch to the left. Alrighty, stretch out our shoulders. minute to go get water or to go um to the bathroom okay
ready. Are you guys all stretched out? Are you guys ready to do our reflection activity? Yay! Awesome. Okay. Now we're going to do our reflection activity. And this reflection activity is going to be about you. Okay? So we are going to draw a picture that best describes you. Okay? So that could be your favorite foods, your favorite color, um, your favorite things to do with your family, and even your favorite sport. So I have a picture of food over here, um, colors, your family, or um, even any sport that you like to do, okay? So we're gonna do um, two minutes, and if you can, you can write your name. Um, Okay, so I'm going to give you guys two minutes to, to draw something that best describes you, okay? And I want it really nice and colorful. Do your best work, okay? So I'm going to give you guys two minutes, starting now. Y'all have 30 more seconds. Are you guys ready to share? Yay! Okay, so this is what I drew. I drew a picture of my mom, my sister, and me. And our favorite thing to do is walk. We like walking outside and getting fresh air. And it's really, really, really nice to have the sun just lay on our, on our skin to warm us up especially during the summer because during the summer it's really hot. So let me see your artworks. I want to see all of the things that describe you. So parents, if you guys can take a picture and send it to me through Parent Square, um, it would be amazing. If not, it's totally fine. Um, but I do want to see their work. Um, but you guys can tell me right now, what did you guys draw? Beautiful, amazing. I'll give you snaps for that. And I hope that describes you, okay? So now that we are done with that, that is our reflection activity. Our reflection activity we're gonna do all the time, okay? But I'll tell you what kinds of things we're gonna need, okay? 
always at the beginning of the of this um, video okay so now we're gonna do our closing and our closing is basically um, any leftover announcements or um, anything anything I want you guys to get from this video um, so for the first thing our purpose of today's video was to get to know you, to get to know um, what you like and um, what kinds of things you drew that best describes you. And I want you guys to know that your name is unique to you and your name makes you who you are. And that's amazing because you are amazing. Sorry, there's a fly. <laughs> and um, remember that all our new videos are on Mondays, okay? And if you guys ever get bored or, or want stuff to do, we have the videos in our enrichment website, okay? And for our closing, we are going to do sparkle snaps. So for sparkle snaps, you're gonna snap like crazy, like fireworks all over the place. Sparkle snaps, sparkle snaps, okay? So try it with me, okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Sparkle snaps, sparkle snaps! Yay! Okay, so for our closing, we're gonna do sparkle snaps, okay? For the real, the, this is the real deal, okay? So, let's do sparkle snaps! All over the place, all over the place. Just like a fireworks. Yay! Awesome. Thank you for joining me with that. It was awesome. And I will see you guys next Monday, okay? See you later, gators! <laughs> Bye!